Hi, thanks for watching another video from Pro Audio Development. This is Rick Perry for rickzperry.com. I'm in a little tight, cramped quarters here. This is my little storage room that I store my PA system in. And I wanted to show you that's upside down. So we're going to talk about these Nady subwoofers. The PSW-152. Now... I was hired to do a gig, you know, six, eight months ago, and the people said, you know, we need some subwoofers, and I was like, well, do I rent them or do I buy them? So I found these online. I think I bought it uh, through an eBay store. Uh, they were drop shipped to my house in an 18-wheeler. Um, the total was 369 I think it was, for two cabinets delivered to my door. Now, it's hard to buy one cabinet on a single 15 or single 18 for 369 delivered so I thought well these are gonna be pretty cheap so I got them tried them out phenomenal sounding okay I don't like the back plates uh, I've rewired that they got a little bitty small wiring inside and I've rewired that I actually went through and I've got some I've got some of this this is uh I'm thinking it's 12 gauge, yeah, some 12 too, I'm going to focus, anyway this is a west pin wire, uh, 12 gauge, two strand inside here, so I took those and I actually wired some speak on plugs on the back of these, um, I, I think they only have like, um, just a regular quarter inch on the back but if you want to upgrade something grab a pair of these and uh, put you some speak hons on the back of it and uh, go to town I mean this thing I mean it rocks I mean I'm not gonna lie to you it's got a little bump in the curve so uh, you know if you adjust your crossover flat then they'll be you know low in heavy which is fine the one thing I can say I don't like about them is the mounts right here which all this is covered up and you can't see it but where the mounts are the wood is very flimsy so if you've got your mains on there and there you know there's no wind blowing then you're you're good to go but i would suggest if you're going to use these and mount your mains on it to um actually go inside and and you know reinforce the inside these corners are plastic and eventually they'll break off I've got one of the corners already broke off um, if you stand them up the handles well you can't see let me turn my light on the handles aren't recessed so if you stand them up they'll kind of rock a little bit on the handles but I'm just talking about little details here I mean if you're handy with power tools buy a pair of these can't see in there very well but you know buy some of these and replace the wiring inside because the wiring is very flimsy it's not soldered very well um, they've got quarter inch uh, in, insert or not inserts quarter inch plugs on them so change them over to speak ons buy you some good metal corners cut the holes out recess the handles and uh, these things rock. I mean, I'm thoroughly happy. They're not too heavy. You can pick one up by yourself and load it in and out. So I would highly recommend this for a budget buy, Nady Audio. Um, it says 107 dB at 1 watt, 1 meter. So uh, it's a two and a half inch voice coil. Hold on, let me turn my light off so it quits reflecting says a uh, 60 ounce magnet it's not a real big magnet but it's two and a half inch diameter voice coil um, it does require an external crossover heavy duty plastic protective corners and yeah, binding okay it's got banana jacks and two quarter inch jacks for easy daisy chaining they're four ohm so I actually run these one of these on each side of my amp um, at one time I wired them in series and run the amp bridge to eight ohms and they still you know rocked hard so this rock solid bottom end highly recommend it it's worth the buy so if you got any more questions about these or whatever just send me a message and i'll be glad to answer anything you got thanks for watching and uh
you know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, come to my website, rickcperry.com, and I appreciate it.